Hi there guys, I'm back. Long time no see. What's it been? Nearly a year? Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, Christmas has come and gone and hope everybody's had a good one, even though it's technically April. <sighs> anyway. Um, but anyway, hope everybody's well. Uh, thanks to all the subscribers that have stuck around. Um, gratefully, gratefully appreciated. It um, it's helped me out a lot end. But we're back on the LT. Uh, nothing's really changed, really, other than it's just got greener. We're standing. Um, obviously, I've still got it because I'm, I'm in it now. Yeah, it's just become a shed at the moment. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going back to work on it now. Um, prior to the new year i did have a look underneath it we had a, a small window of de half decent weather so i go underneath it with a torch and a prodding stick and ooh, i found a lot wrong with it but i'm too um, financially deep in it now so i've got to uh, finish it now the normal sensible people may just think right just bin it and go and get another one i'm that person i just like chucking money at stuff Apparently. So, I have got my big welder, um, which is that is my big welder. Uh, that is my ooh, that's my baby welder. This is a uh, big boy. Um, so yeah, we'll be working with this. This will be my next, my newest uh, friend that will spend all its time with me. Unfortunately. Um, I have removed the water tanks. There is a water tank where I'm sitting on the driver's side, and then one across the back, which was a waste tank that was never plumbed in for some reason. But anyway, um, but yeah, they they've been removed uh, and they've been cleaned and stored away. Um, I'm going to put the water tank back on, but not the waste one. I'll explain in a later video hopefully when we finally get this thing done so yeah i'll best uh, get the lights out and crawl my ass underneath there and show you what i have found unfortunately not good all right guys i'm underneath the van at the moment wow it's a nice car anyway um yeah i've uh marked it out and yeah there's a big hole there which i knew about because obviously i'll put a small plate in uh, most of the i can't know if you can see most of the step is sorted sort of now uh yeah come down here doesn't look too bad a bit of a rusty patch there but you know a bit of a rust converter at bear each and seal it up. Oh, watch out for my fat belly. Then further down, this is where the slidey door is about here. Uh, and then it starts going to the back of the wheel arch. I've already put a plate in, which I did wrong. So I've got to work out like now because I'm a fool. But yeah, all this here is just all gone, all the way down. All the way down to that, all the way down there. Uh, which I knew about as of last year. Uh, but then as of Christmas, I decided to go to the other side. Let's show you that side. This is really awkward for me to film, but I'm trying to do it for you guys. This side is just horrific. All the way along. That's about a decent bit. All the way along, decent bit. All the way along, decent bit. All the way along. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a lot of welding ahead. Hence why I haven't been on. Because I've been trying to work out stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, also across the back panel, you will not be able to see it from here, but right at the end, all the way across there as rotten away 
So yeah, that made me very much depressed. Um, yeah, so that's why I haven't been on, unfortunately. It's not an excuse, it's just a reason. Um, so yeah, and now I've got my mojo back. I'm all happy and well again, sort of. You know, it's somewhat depressing me just lying underneath this thing still. <laughs> but I've got to do it. Oh yeah, and on top of that I need an exhaust. From what I gather from the turbo to the cat is all right. But then I got a massive hurl, massive hurl. Do you think the exhaust gases are coming out the back? I don't think so. So yeah, I've got to replace that. Uh, this silencer, I think it's the only silencer on the entire van, is looking okay. Uh, this is looking a bit dubious, but I'll uh, hit it with a wire wheel and have a look. And as for further down, it's a too bad, you know, it's a rusty van, an old rusty van. So yeah, oh and on top of that as well, um, I need to start welding up all these holes, I can't see any where the previous owner has put stuff out. Well, we don't want the holes there, so now I've got to patch them up. Which isn't such a bad thing. Um, yeah. Uh, it also needs brakes all the way around. Discs, pads, I think it needs two rear calipers as well, because I cannot move this thing no more. They are jammed solid. Uh, yeah. So, like I say, normal person would just bin it, take it scrapyard, and I've done with it. Me and the other end have spent weeks, weeks, and weeks <laughs> welding this thing up. And then probably the next MOT, well, it won't more welding. Um, for those who don't know what an MOT is, it's a motoring audit test. Every 12 months, it goes into a garage for them to put a um, to put it on a lift or in a, on a, over the top of a pit. Check all the brakes and joints and tires and structural parts such as that, uh, and uh, make sure it's safe to be on the road, so nothing drops off and kills anybody or injures. So yeah, uh, so there, that's an MOT lesson for everybody those who don't know because I don't know where everybody lives and all around the world is slightly different rooms I think there's only one decent tire on this vehicle and that is that one so I've got a good spare <laughs> what am I doing oh, I like making work for myself so I'm going to jack this up a bit more so I can get my fat belly underneath it uh, I have got some decent axle stands, just in case everybody wondered. Uh, jack it up a little more so I can get my fat belly underneath. And get the angle grinder out with some uh, protective goggles. And start cutting even more. And there's a bottle of water here for some reason. Hey, everyone drink. Looks after that. Oh my god, see you Ugh. <laughs> Uh, I live next door to some skate rats. Anyway, enough about them. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, get on to bowling and cutting. Yay! Right, I've took the wheel off because I'm going to do the front bit just here first. First bit we're into, which is. <laughs> get my fat bum underneath here. This bit here. I'm gonna, hmm, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and trim that off to that stage there, all the way across, across here. Uh, and maybe cut this bit out, weld a bit in, then stitch weld it all across. Uh, and yeah, uh, bit of seam sealer, and then some uh, present preventative rust measures. I have just gone across that bit. Y wheel, the um, 
sealant that you use is thick as anything. Okay, that's got to be what? Five mil thick, if not more. Like I say, stupid. That's what causes are for this rust. Is uh, I've got a bit wild with it. Good thing, but you know, as soon as water gets underneath it, then uh, it's uh, rots it away. So yeah, that's just been caught in time. So a little bit of rust, then rust converter on there, and then put some other stuff on it, and. Yeah, it's just generally protect it and transfer it into back into metal. That's it. It's just everywhere. It's just, that's all just sealant, guys. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah, I always stick on time lapse, but I can't find my GoPro because I'm on my phone. Uh, so, yeah, so let's um, cut that and then bring you back in a minute. Right now guys, we've uh, done a bit of welding, got some seam sealer, even though it does look a bit manky, and put some uh, red oxide paint on it. I've done the same to the outside as well. We've done the same to the outside as well. It doesn't look the best, but I think the seam sealer's going, going off a little bit. I think it's going a bit dry. Uh, worst case scenario, I can just take a Y wheel and uh, take it off. Yeah, it's getting there eventually. Uh, I've done the same on the inside of the step. Got some uh, paint and just painted it and seam sealed it. Uh, I use a brush on stuff. So, yeah, just trowel it on, get it thick. Right there guys, that's that bit done. Um, just a small hole. Well, I'll say small, about 10 inches. Um, yeah, get that done. It's done now. So, uh, just a lot more to go at. Um, hopefully in the next video, I'll be doing like a small montage bit of me cutting and welding and grinding and Getting sparks down my ear hole. Uh, so yeah, as soon as I find my GoPro, I'll get that done. Um, just a big thank you to all the people that were stuck around. Um, my mind was uh, a bit of a mess, so now I've cleared it out, I'm back. Uh, so yeah, I do appreciate everybody that's stuck around. We've had a few new um, subscribers, which, welcome. Uh, I will be posting more and more videos uh, as we go along. This is only a little short one, just to say I'm back and what I'm doing. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know where I'll turn this. Get very confusing now. <laughs> but like I say, this is not my full time job. Uh, I do have uh, other commitments. You know. How you know, marry kids and wife and house and work and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I will try and pub publish some videos as soon as. Uh, need to save up now for brakes, tyres, maybe an exhaust. Um, they're not cheap. I've had some little prices, just like eBay prices. Uh, yeah, and then it's just getting it all ready for the MOT, uh, get it all done. It needs a cam belt, so I'll be getting that done as well. Um, and then just get the inside done and then work out something with paint. Um, I've gone round last year to all the rusty patches I could find, uh, which was quite a lot. Um, took a wire wheel to all the rusty patches and just sprayed some red oxide paint over it. I thought it'd make it look better. It doesn't. It just made it look like a blue van with red patches everywhere. Uh, 
so yeah so i need to just get some cans of paint and just quickly just buff it over the top of it just to make it look generally one color uh and then and then i need to decide what i'm doing with the outside either full on wrap or having it painted either one isn't going to be cheap uh i would paint it myself but got nowhere to paint it and i don't think the next door neighbor wants his car covered in paint overspray shall i say uh yeah so we stuck around to now then thank you <laughs> so yeah i'll leave there guys if you like me rambling continuously about the relevant stuff um like comment subscribe i suppose you know and share us on social media and all that we do have a tiktok a facebook uh, an Instagram, a um, what else we have. Uh, I do do gaming at night time. Um, if you'd like to follow us on there, then do. Well, I'm, I'm on Twitch uh, at night time just to try and decompress myself. It's doing a well, world of good, to be really honest. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow us on there, then it's uh, Mr. 80s Gamer. Gaming, sorry, should I say? Mr. 80s Gaming. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow us there, then I gratefully appreciate it. And also, if you've got something to ask us, you can either ask us on anywhere, any any one of the social media sites. Uh, and I'll try and get back to you straight away. Uh, so, leave it there, guys. See you later. Bye.